So today I'm at the gym. Today I'm at the gym, and I'm by no means a gym advocate. I'm not there 350 50 days a year. But when I go to the gym, I get in there, I get my work done, I keep my mouth shut, I keep my headphones in, and I work, get it over with. Today at the gym, I noticed something that I've noticed throughout time. I noticed throughout different gyms and different people. But today it really struck me for the hour, for the only hour I was there, I noticed four different colored water bottles full of shit. Four different guys, four different colors of water bottles. Rainbow color. We had blue. Or no, no, we had purple. We had yellow. There was a red and there was a green. And I th- it made me think about this speech. It made me think about something I wanted to say. And that's about finding success through a natural way and hard work versus finding success through shortcuts. Now, what's the difference in the outcome? Well, through the eyesight, it's not much of a difference. The person that takes the shortcut, takes the pre-workouts, takes the aftermath workouts, takes the whey protein, takes the pills, the tablets, whatever else they take, they have success quickly. Quicker, I should say. Not quickly, but quicker. But what happens if that person takes a break? What happens if that person can't work out for a month? What happens if that if that person decides to put a needle in their ass and then a year down the road, they can't work out for whatever reason? What's their, what's their, what's their body going to turn into? Is it going to stay like that? Or is it going to reduce quickly? Or all of a sudden are we going to go from, you know, rhino steel to blob? And then I thought about the person who's in there, who's in there two hours a day in the morning, two hours a day at night. I'm thinking about the person who's in the gym, waiting for it to, oh, waiting for the gym to open, and finishing by the time people are coming in, that person's leaving. I'm thinking about the person in the gym who's been doing it for years, building that body to a temple. Just like the people that are, that, that are doing it unnaturally, building that body to a temple. I'm thinking about that. Now what happens if that person doesn't work out for a month? Of course they're gonna lose some mass, of course they're gonna lose some of that physique. But as soon as they hit the gym the next month, that body's coming right back. Hard work. Natural hard work. Putting in, that's what we call hard work. That made me think about things even such as base, such as sports and baseball. You have the people that hit a home run because they used enhancements. I'm not saying they're not working out, but they're using enhancements versus the people that have worked out to is train their body their whole life to hit a home run through natural abilities. And what we like to call, once again, what do we call that? That's hard work. You know, it's funny, I do I do fly fishing. That's, that's, that's my thing. And, and people always ask me, Jesse, you know, how, how'd you become so good at fly fishing? And when I take clients out on the water and, and I'm trying to tell them, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this. And then, and then they don't understand, so I show them. And they say, Jesse, you make it look so easy, though. And I know it's fly fishing, but it can be applied to life. It can be applied to any skill, anything. They say, Jesse, how did you make that look so easy? Well, it's simple. I didn't just pick up a fly rod, start casting it within a day, and become good at it, or great at it, or, or one of the best at it. No, it's hard work. It's all those hours when no one was watching, I was in the backyard. It's all those hours that people are putting in in the gym before the people start coming in. And by the time those people come in and leave, they're coming back into the gym. It's those people who sit there behind the three-point line. 300 shots a day, 400 shots a day, 500 shots a day. Those people are greatness. They're success. There are success stories. Not the, not the quick success stories. Not the people who are successful and then they're forgotten about because, of, oh wait, you know what? This person used steroids, or oh, you know what? Found out this person cheated back in back in time, or back during blah blah blah. No, to be truly successful, don't ever take the shortcut. Don't ever take the easy way out. Don't ever take don't ever take the route that goes in the clear path. No, beat your damn way through the woods. Beat your damn way through that path, and work hard. Work your butt off. Don't be afraid to put in the extra hour. Don't be intimidated when you see people getting there quicker. And when you see that pink bottle standing by their foot and yours is clear because it's just water and sweat. No, 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 don't ever take the shortcut. Success and true success, success that'll last for generations. Success that'll touch your children and their children and their children. Success that'll touch millions, stories that'll make history. They come from hard work 
natural hard work. That shit motivates me.